Question 1. How should you respond to a yield to uphill traffic sign on a steep road? A. Increase your speed to pass quickly. B. Yield the right of way to vehicles going uphill. C. Stop and wait for all uphill traffic to clear. Answer. B. Yield the right of way to vehicles going uphill. This sign indicates that drivers going downhill should yield to vehicles traveling uphill. Question 2. What actions should you take upon encountering a detour sign? A. Follow the detour route. B. Ignore the sign and continue on the same path. C. Stop and turn around. Answer. A. Follow the detour route. A detour sign indicates that the usual route is unavailable and drivers should follow the alternative path provided. Question 3. How does a through traffic merge left sign affect your driving on a multi-lane road? A. Merge left to allow entering traffic. B. Stay in your lane and ignore the sign. C. Increase speed and pass on the right. Answer. A. Merge left to allow entering traffic. This sign indicates that drivers in the through lane should merge left to allow merging traffic from another lane. Question 4. What does a telephone available sign indicate and how might it affect your driving decisions? A. Speed up to reach the telephone quicker. B. Prepare to exit if you need to make a call. C. Ignore the sign as it has no impact on driving. Answer. B. Prepare to exit if you need to make a call. This sign indicates the availability of a telephone service ahead, useful for emergencies or important calls. Question 5. When you see a two-way traffic sign, what adjustments should you make to your driving? A. Increase your speed. B. Be aware of oncoming traffic in the opposite lane. C. Move to the right shoulder. Answer. B. Be aware of oncoming traffic in the opposite lane. This sign indicates that the road is for two-way traffic, so drivers should be cautious of vehicles coming from the opposite direction. Question 6. What is the legal protocol for approaching a school bus that is stopped with its red lights flashing? A. Pass the bus cautiously. B. Stop and wait until the lights stop flashing. C. Honk to alert the bus driver. Answer. B. Stop and wait until the lights stop flashing. Drivers must stop for a school bus with flashing red lights to ensure the safety of children boarding or leaving the bus. Question 7. How should you adjust your driving in response to heavy rain or fog? A. Maintain your usual speed. B. Use high beam headlights for better visibility. C. Slow down and use low beam headlights. Answer. C. Slow down and use low beam headlights. Reduced visibility in heavy rain or fog requires slower speeds and the use of low beam headlights. Question 8. What are the rules for making a right turn at an intersection where the traffic light is red? A. Turn without stopping. B. Stop then proceed if safe and legal. C. Wait for the green light before turning. Answer. B. Stop, then proceed if safe and legal. Drivers must come to a complete stop at a red light before making a right turn, if allowed. Question 9. Describe the steps a driver should take after being involved in a minor traffic collision. A. Leave the scene immediately. B. Exchange information with the other driver and report the accident. C. Wait in the vehicle for emergency services. Answer. B. Exchange information with the other driver and report the accident. It's important to exchange contact and insurance information and report the collision if necessary. Question 10. What precautions should be taken when driving through a tunnel? A. Turn on your headlights and reduce speed. B. Accelerate to minimize time spent in the tunnel. C. Use your horn periodically. Answer. A. Turn on your headlights and reduce speed. 
Good visibility and cautious driving are essential for safety in tunnels. Question 11. When is it legally permissible to cross a double yellow line on the road? A. To pass a slower vehicle. B. When turning left into a driveway or street. C. At any time when the road is clear. Answer. B. When turning left into a driveway or street, crossing a double yellow line is permitted only when making a left turn where it's safe and legal. Question 12. How should you react if an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is approaching while you are in an intersection? A. Continue through the intersection, then pull over. B. Stop in the intersection. C. Accelerate to clear the intersection quickly. Answer. A. Continue through the intersection, then pull over. It's safest to clear the intersection first and then safely pull over to the side of the road. Question 13. What is the recommended following distance on a highway during clear weather conditions? A. 2 seconds. B. 3 to 4 seconds. C. At least 1 second. Answer. B. 3 to 4 seconds. Maintaining a 3 to 4 second following distance provides a safer buffer zone between vehicles. Question 14. How does one safely share the road with motorcycles? A. Allow less following distance behind motorcycles. B. Treat motorcycles as regular vehicles with full lane width. C. Pass motorcycles closely to encourage them to move over. Answer. B. Treat motorcycles as regular vehicles with full lane width. Motorcycles should be given the same respect and space as other vehicles. Question 15. In what situations is it necessary to use your vehicle's high beam headlights? A. In urban areas with well-lit streets. B. On open highways or in rural areas with little to no traffic. C. Whenever it is dark outside, regardless of other vehicles. Answer. B. On open highways or in rural areas with little to no traffic. High beams are used for better visibility in poorly lit areas, but must be dimmed when other vehicles are near. Question 16. What should a driver do if they miss their intended freeway exit? A. Make a U-turn through the median. B. Continue to the next exit and reroute. C. Stop and reverse on the freeway. Answer. B. Continue to the next exit and reroute. If you miss your exit, it's safest to proceed to the next one rather than attempt dangerous maneuvers. Question 17. Describe the legal requirements for using child safety seats in California. A. Child safety seats are optional. B. Children under 8 years old must be secured in an appropriate seat. C. Only infants require child safety seats. Answer. B. Children under 8 years old must be secured in an appropriate seat. California law requires proper child safety seats for children under 8 or shorter than 4 feet 9 inches. Question 18. How should a driver handle a situation where they encounter animals on or near the roadway? A. Speed up to scare the animals away. B. Stop immediately, regardless of traffic. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Reducing speed and being cautious helps prevent potential accidents involving animals. Question 19. What are the consequences of driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs in California? A. Mandatory community service. B. Fines, license suspension, and possible jail time. C. A warning for the first offense. Answer. B. Fines, license suspension, and possible jail time. DUI offenses carry serious penalties, including fines, license suspension, and jail time. Question 20. When parking uphill on a street with a curb, which way should you turn your wheels? A. Away from the curb. B. Toward the curb. C. Keep them straight. Answer. A. Away from the curb. 
when parking uphill with a curb, turn your wheels away from the curb so the car will roll into the curb if the brakes fail. Question 21. What is the correct procedure for a driver approaching a flashing red traffic light? A. Proceed through the intersection without stopping. B. Stop completely, then proceed when safe. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. B. Stop completely, then proceed when safe. A flashing red light is treated like a stop sign, requiring a full stop and proceeding only when safe. Question 22. How should drivers behave in a shared left turn lane on a busy street? A. Use the lane for overtaking slower vehicles. B. Drive through the lane as a shortcut. C. Use the lane only for making left turns. Answer. C. Use the lane only for making left turns. Shared left turn lanes are meant for drivers from either direction to safely make left turns. Question 23. What are the rules regarding passing a school bus on a divided highway? A. Always stop regardless of direction or division. B. Stop only if you are on the same side as the bus. C. No need to stop if the highway is divided. Answer. C. No need to stop if the highway is divided. On a divided highway, only vehicles on the same side as the stopped school bus must stop. Question 24. How does one handle a situation where traffic is merging onto the freeway? A. Maintain your speed and lane position. B. Slow down or change lanes to allow merging traffic. C. Accelerate to pass merging traffic quickly. Answer. B. Slow down or change lanes to allow merging traffic. It's courteous and safe to adjust your speed or change lanes to facilitate smoother merging. Question 25. What actions should a driver take upon encountering a slippery when wet sign? A. Increase speed to reduce the chance of slipping. B. Continue at the same speed. C. Slow down and increase following distance. Answer. C. Slow down and increase following distance. When roads are slippery, reducing speed and increasing the gap between vehicles is important for safety. Question 26. Describe the appropriate steps to take if your vehicle's engine overheats while driving. A. Continue driving to reach your destination quickly. B. Stop immediately in the roadway. C. Pull over safely, turn off the engine, and wait for it to cool. Answer. C. Pull over safely, turn off the engine, and wait for it to cool. Overheating requires stopping the vehicle and allowing the engine to cool down before checking for issues. Question 27. What is the legal speed limit in a California school zone, unless otherwise posted? A. 15 miles per hour. B. 25 miles per hour. C. 35 miles per hour. Answer. B. 25 miles per hour. The typical speed limit in a California school zone is 25 miles per hour, but drivers should always look for posted signs indicating the limit. Question 28. How should a driver proceed when encountering a bicycle lane while making a right turn? A. Turn right immediately, ignoring the bicycle lane. B. Yield to bicyclists in the bike lane before turning. C. Use the bike lane to accelerate before the turn. Answer. B. Yield to bicyclists in the bike lane before turning. Drivers must yield to any bicyclists in the bike lane before making a right turn. Question 29. What are the rules for parking near a fire hydrant in California? A. Parking is allowed if the vehicle is attended. B. It's illegal to park within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. C. Parking is permitted for short durations. Answer. B. It's illegal to park within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. Parking too close to a fire hydrant can obstruct emergency access. Question 30. How does one safely handle a tire blowout while driving at high speeds? A. Immediately apply the brakes to stop. B. Maintain control. Gradually slow down and pull over. 
C. Accelerate to regain stability. Answer. B. Maintain control, gradually slow down, and pull over. It's important to stay calm, maintain control, and slowly reduce speed to stop safely. Question 31. When is it necessary to yield the right of way to a pedestrian? A. Only at marked crosswalks. B. At both marked and unmarked crosswalks. C. Only when the pedestrian signals. Answer. B. At both marked and unmarked crosswalks. Drivers must always yield to pedestrians at all crosswalks. Question 32. What should a driver be aware of when approaching a crosswalk where pedestrians are waiting to cross? A. Increase speed to pass before they enter. B. Wait for them to cross completely. C. Honk to alert them to stay back. Answer. B. Wait for them to cross completely. Drivers should stop and allow pedestrians to cross safely. Question 33. Describe the legal requirements for changing lanes on a multi-lane road. A. Signal. Check mirrors and blind spots, then change lanes. B. Change lanes quickly without signaling. C. Honk and change lanes immediately. Answer. A. Signal. Check mirrors and blind spots, then change lanes. Signaling and checking for safety is crucial when changing lanes. Question 34. How should a driver respond to a yield sign? A. Speed up to merge with traffic. B. Stop completely, then proceed. C. Slow down, check for traffic, and proceed when safe. Answer. C. Slow down, check for traffic, and proceed when safe. Yield signs require drivers to give way to other traffic and pedestrians. Question 35. What are the steps to take if you are involved in a hit-and-run accident? A. Chase the fleeing vehicle. B. Try to remember details of the fleeing vehicle and report to authorities. C. Leave the scene to find help. Answer. B. Try to remember details of the fleeing vehicle and report to authorities. It's important to collect as much information as possible and report the incident. Question 36. How does California law regulate the use of headphones or earbuds while driving? A. It's permitted in both ears. B. Only allowed in one ear. C. Prohibited in both ears. Answer. B. Only allowed in one ear. It's legal to use a headphone or earbud in one ear for communication, but not in both ears. Question 37. What is the procedure for handling a situation where you are driving against traffic in a one-way street? A. Continue driving until a turn is possible. B. Pull over and turn around when safe. C. Stop and reverse in the one-way street. Answer. B. Pull over and turn around when safe. If you find yourself going against traffic, find a safe way to turn around. Question 38. How should a driver use their headlights when driving in urban areas at night? A. Use high beams for better visibility. B. Use low beams to avoid blinding other drivers. C. Headlights are not necessary in well-lit urban areas. Answer. B. Use low beams to avoid blinding other drivers. Low beams provide adequate visibility without dazzling other road users. Question 39. What actions should you take if you encounter a vehicle driving the wrong way in your lane? A. Continue driving and flash your headlights. B. Pull to the right and stop, honking your horn. C. Try to pass the vehicle quickly. Answer. B. Pull to the right and stop, honking your horn. It's crucial to avoid a head-on collision by moving to the right and alerting the wrong way driver. Question 40. Describe the correct response to an amber, yellow, traffic light that turns on just as you are approaching an intersection. A. Speed up to beat the red light. B. Stop if it is safe to do so, otherwise proceed with caution. C. Continue through the intersection without changing speed. Answer. B. 
Stop if it is safe to do so, otherwise proceed with caution. A yellow light indicates that the light is about to change to red. Question 41. What is the legal requirement when driving in a lane marked with a bicycle lane sign? A. Drive in the bicycle lane to bypass slow traffic. B. Only use the bicycle lane for parking. C. Do not drive in the bicycle lane except when necessary to turn. Answer. C. Do not drive in the bicycle lane except when necessary to turn. Bicycle lanes are primarily for bicyclists, and vehicles should not use them except when making turns. Question 42. How should a driver react when they see a school zone sign while children are present? A. Continue at the normal speed limit. B. Speed up to clear the area quickly. C. Reduce speed and exercise caution. Answer. C. Reduce speed and exercise caution. Drivers should slow down and be extra cautious in school zones when children are present. Question 43. What does a no U-turn sign indicate, and how should a driver respond? A. U-turns are permitted at any time. B. U-turns are allowed only during certain hours. C. U-turns are prohibited. Answer. C. U-turns are prohibited. When a no U-turn sign is present, drivers must not make U-turns. Question 44. Describe the actions a driver should take when approaching an intersection with a non-operational traffic signal. A. Drive through the intersection without stopping. B. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. C. Only yield to vehicles on the right. Answer. B. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. When traffic signals are out, the intersection should be treated as a stop sign controlled intersection. Question 45. How does a sharp curve ahead sign affect your driving behavior? A. Slow down and prepare for a sharp turn. B. Maintain current speed through the curve. C. Use high beams to navigate the curve. Answer. A. Slow down and prepare for a sharp turn. This sign warns of a sharp curve, requiring drivers to reduce speed and proceed with caution. Question 46. What are the guidelines for using your vehicle's horn in a residential area? A. Use the horn to greet neighbors. B. Only use the horn for warning purposes or emergencies. C. Honk regularly to alert pedestrians. Answer. B. Only use the horn for warning purposes or emergencies. The horn should be used sparingly and only to prevent collisions or ensure safety. Question 47. In what situations is it permissible to overtake and pass another vehicle on the right? A. When the vehicle ahead is making a left turn. B. On a one-way street with multiple lanes. C. It's never permissible to pass on the right. Answer. A. When the vehicle ahead is making a left turn, it is permissible to pass on the right if the vehicle you are passing is making a left turn and there is room to pass safely. Question 48. How should a driver adjust their driving in response to a fog area sign? A. Use high beams for better visibility. B. Turn off all lights to reduce glare. C. Reduce speed and use low beam headlights. Answer. C. Reduce speed and use low beam headlights. In foggy conditions, visibility is reduced, so it's safer to slow down and use low beams. Question 49. What steps should a driver take upon encountering a temporary road work ahead sign? A. Increase speed to clear the area quickly. B. Prepare to stop or slow down for construction. C. Ignore the sign if no workers are present. Answer. B. Prepare to stop or slow down for construction. This sign indicates upcoming road work, and drivers should be ready to adjust their speed accordingly. Question 50. How does a narrow bridge sign affect your driving strategy? A. Speed up to spend less time on the bridge. B. Be prepared to yield to oncoming traffic. C. 
Ignore the sign, as it doesn't require action. Answer B. Be prepared to yield to oncoming traffic. When approaching a narrow bridge, drivers should be ready to yield and navigate carefully due to limited space. Question 51. What is the correct response when an emergency vehicle approaches from behind with flashing lights and sirens? A. Maintain your speed and lane position. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Speed up to clear the way. Answer. B. Pull over to the right and stop. Drivers should yield to emergency vehicles by moving to the right and stopping. Question 52. How should a driver handle a situation where they accidentally drive past their intended exit on a highway? A. Stop and reverse on the highway. B. Continue to the next exit and find a way to double back. C. Drive on the shoulder to reach the exit. Answer. B. Continue to the next exit and find a way to double back. If you miss your exit, it's safest to proceed to the next one. Question 53. Describe the protocol for making a left turn at a green traffic light without a dedicated turn arrow. A. Turn immediately without yielding. B. Yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians, then turn when safe. C. Wait for a green arrow before turning. Answer. B. Yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians, then turn when safe, even with a green light, Left-turning drivers must yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. Question 54. What precautions should be taken when driving through an area with active wildlife, especially at dawn and dusk? A. Speed up to avoid encountering animals. B. Be extra vigilant and prepared to stop. C. Wildlife is inactive during these times, so no precautions are needed. Answer. B. Be extra vigilant and prepared to stop. Dawn and dusk are peak times for wildlife activity, so drivers should be especially alert. Question 55. How should a driver use the emergency lane on a freeway? A. As a regular lane during traffic congestion. B. For passing slower vehicles. C. Only in case of vehicle breakdown or emergency. Answer. C. Only in case of vehicle breakdown or emergency. The emergency lane should be used only in genuine emergencies or breakdowns. Question 56. What is the appropriate action to take if your vehicle begins to skid on ice? A. Slam on the brakes to stop immediately. B. Steer in the direction of the skid and gently decelerate. C. Accelerate to regain control. Answer. B. Steer in the direction of the skid and gently decelerate. This helps to regain control of the vehicle during a skid. Question 57. What considerations should a driver make when approaching a T-intersection? A. Yield to all traffic at the intersection. B. Accelerate through the intersection. C. Drivers on the through road have the right of way. Answer. A. Yield to all traffic at the intersection. At a T-intersection, drivers must yield to vehicles on the through road. Question 58. How should a driver behave when approaching a yield to oncoming traffic sign? A. Continue at the same speed as oncoming traffic will yield. B. Yield to vehicles coming from the opposite direction. C. Stop completely before proceeding. Answer. B yield to vehicles coming from the opposite direction. This sign indicates that you should give way to oncoming traffic. Question 59. What are the legal requirements for using hazard lights while driving? A. Only when stopped or driving slowly due to an emergency. B. At any time to signal a lane change. C. To indicate that you are driving below the speed limit. Answer. A. Only when stopped or driving slowly due to an emergency. Hazard lights should be used to warn others when your vehicle is causing a potential hazard. Question 60. How should a driver proceed when they see a divided highway end sign? 
A. Accelerate as the road becomes a single lane. B. Be prepared for oncoming traffic in the opposite lane. C. Stop and wait for instructions. Answer. B. Be prepared for oncoming traffic in the opposite lane. This sign indicates that the road will no longer be divided, so drivers should be cautious of oncoming traffic.